Let's understand the switch node in N810, one of the simplest ways to create conditional workflows. A switch node checks a specific field in your data and routes the flow based on matching values. Think of it like a traffic signal. If the value is A, go this way. If the value is B, go that way. And if nothing matches, you can set a default path. Let's understand how it works with a simple example. First, let me explain the workflow. This is our chat trigger. Whenever we send a message on Telegram, this message will be routed through the switch node. If the message is an audio, the flow will follow the audio path. If the message is text, it will follow the text path. Now, let's see how to define this condition. Click on the switch node. You can see I define the condition for voice. If this field exists, then it will go to the audio output. If the message is in the text format, it will go to the text output. If it is neither text nor voice, it will show an error output. Now let's verify this on Telegram. First, I send a text message like hi. Run the workflow. You can see it automatically follows the text path. Now I'm sending a voice note saying, hello, how are you doing? You can see the voice note is received. Run the workflow and the switch node routes the message to the audio path. So this is how the switch node works.